So, okay, so uh, how's uh, Bugs in Cyberspace's new YouTube channel doing? It's been, it's been doing better lately. It's been doing better lately. I've okay. Got, I've got 600, 600 watch hours in the last 28 days. That's the best it's ever done. Ooh. But I've been posting a little bit more and uh, asking people to give me the thumbs ups and everything. Everybody, every once in a while, someone gives me a thumbs down, though. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs down, finger up. <laughs> uh, well, Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Ron plays guitar better than he does cribbage. Upholsterer Mike is at it again, and this time we're doing Lynn and Jerry's RV dining room chairs. So here we have a before on the right and the beginning of an after on the left. Yeah, you know, and it's really nice. I use it in the truck because that way. We have like recovered that. our chairs. And they not only are a great color and material. They are done beautifully. Wow. Oh! More fire in the desert. Oh, yeah, it's hot. I think it's snowing in the desert. Look at that. You got snow all over you. Why don't you make a snow angel? Hey, Jerry. Making a snow angel. Oh my gosh. In the desert. How's that look? Pretty good. That's awesome. Woo! That's cool. Yeah, brush me off. Your backside. Oh hey, you got a little dirty there. That's not dirt, that's snow. Oh snow. That's snow. Jeez. There, you can get the rest of it. I see your problem. <laughs> What happens when amateurs do this? <laughs> Woo! That's hot. <laughs> Day after Christmas leftovers. <laughs> Ham sandwiches. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> mashed potatoes and gravy. Well, Green bean casserole. No, I'm not gonna sit up there. And yeah. there's some tuna fish salad well, up there. Not. Everybody is helping me clean so out my refrigerator. Ooh, right on the corner of the stove. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking at him. Get away from my stuff. Ooh. A hundred and nine cooler, which is a um, low wattage cooler, and then I've got the um, max fan, which is also low wattage, and then I plug in phones and tablets to charge them. So you're staying in your van, yeah, and you have electric heat. Yes, I do. Let's go over there and talk about that. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is Dee's van. She's got... 640 watts on top. 640 watts of solar. And I got two lithium batteries. Two lithium batteries. And... Uh, Did you clean house? Uh, sort of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh. 
dog content. <laughs> There's Maggie May. Hi, Maggie May. So you have two lithium batteries that are uh, 100 watts each. Right. And then what's that big gray thing up there? Uh, a Xantrex um, inverter charger. And uh, how many watts? Uh, 2,000. 2,000. And it looks like you got a lot of really heavy wiring there. And then... I got an MPPT behind the uh, induction stove there. Okay. Um, uh, when you have an induction cooktop, you're not only heating in the mornings with your electric heater, you're cooking on an induction cooktop. Yes. Okay, so tell me, did you keep track of... How many watts you use and how long you run your heater and stuff? Uh, I didn't do a very good job of it, but I um, tried it uh, one morning when it was when I got up really early. I ran that uh, 1500 watt heater for about 45 minutes, yeah. and then I ran my coffee maker. It's a two cupper. Yeah. For uh, for that, and then I put it the heater back on for 45 minutes, and then it beeped at me um, somewhere around there, and then. I had to wait till the sun come up to. So 90 minutes, and then your uh, lithium batteries were lower than you wanted to go any farther. Evidently, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and where's your heater? Uh, oh, it's. Um, I just got it from one of the Walmart uh, ceramic. Oh. Amazon. Oh, it's a ceramic. Yeah. Yeah. Ceramic. 1500 watts. Yeah, 1500 watts. And you for 45, 45. 90 minutes of heat, yes. and in that size of a vehicle, yes. it... Yeah, it was comfortable, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, D, had it, I had it set on low. D has 640 watts, two lithium batteries, a 2,000 watt, very good, inverter, electric heat, electric induction cooktop. You have an electric vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I got uh, quite lucky there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like somebody put it together for you very well. Yes, I yeah. think they did. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dee. <laughs> you may wonder what Blythe Intaglios are. Well, Blythe is the city that it's closest to, and an intaglio is a design carved into a material. When I did the snow angel in the rocks, that was technically an intaglio. We're entering the site of the Blythe and Talios, giant figures made on the desert floor by ancient man. Please help protect them by keeping all vehicles on the established roadway. Thank you, Bureau of Land Management. Actually, I am going off-road, but it'll be with my drone straight up and over to them as they are best viewed from way up in the air.
I wonder how they decided that this was done a long, long time ago instead of in the 1930s or something by a bunch of people who were out here camping. Good question. Human figure. The human figure is oriented north-south with its head pointing towards the south. What? Boy, my directions are turned around. We came from that direction. That's south. What? Did I read it wrong? The human figure is oriented north-south with its head pointing towards the south. I'm going to get something mixed up. Well... I'm about to get my compass out. That can't be right. Huh? No, We're not totally turned around, are we? No, because right over there is the 95. Yeah. And there's the... Ah. Uh, well, anyway. It appears to have originally been created with a phallus between its legs. Hmm, must have dropped off. The figure measures 102 feet from head to toe, and its arms span a distance of 64 feet. Its left leg is approximately, is pronouncedly flexed. It lacks definite, defined knees, but it does have clearly defined elbows. There's no fingers or toes. Hmm. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.